the Bay environment, whether you're talking about San Francisco Bay or the outer coast, has had a long history of, of supporting human life and, and a style of life that is really connected to nature. I've lived in the county for about 56 years and we have dove and fished in this area since I was pretty young. After, you know, a number of years and I could see that there was a possibility that I could switch from recreational to commercial fishing. It just opened up the door for me and gave me the opportunity to provide a product to people that I could be very proud of. The ocean has been changing a lot over the last few years. We've seen the impacts of uh, extractive activities, of, of fishing, we've, of overfishing in some cases. We've seen the impacts of climate change. The one thing that, that's kind of constant in our lives is, is change. So California has done this extraordinary uh, experiment of creating a network of marine protected areas. Marine protected areas are places where there's some protection for the marine life inside the boundaries of that space. A lack of predictability and uh, real challenges for the fishing community on top of now areas where they used to be able to fish and now are not able to fish because of the institution of the marine protected areas, that creates an additional challenge for the commercial fishing community. We need to be able to provide the public with a sustainable organic product from the water. I don't want to see them have to rely on farm fish, farm this, farm that. The hope is, and the theory suggests, and the data coming in support this idea that over the long haul, this will actually allow people who enjoy spending time in nature in its pristine state and people who enjoy using nature or relying on it for their livelihood will be able to do so for the future. As time's going on, we've learned to adjust. Uh, we just don't want to see more of it taken away, but you know, I mean, uh, I understand what is wanted to be done, and, and realistically, it makes sense. We have a lot of commercial and recreational fishermen that are out here doing it right, and they care a lot about the resource, and they want to make sure that it's protected and that people aren't taking what they're not supposed to take, and so um, I try and have a really good working relationship with the fishermen out here, and I feel like a lot of fishermen do report to me when something isn't right or something needs to be addressed, and that's important because they're really our eyes and ears. The Marine Protected Area Collaborative that is here in Sonoma County, they were set up so that we would have a very local role in supporting and providing feedback for how the marine protected areas are being managed. And we've also strived really hard to connect with the commercial fishing and the recreational fishing community. I just feel like if you're not involved, you're just letting things go and you need to be there, you need to help. You do try to do whatever you can. In other areas of the world where marine protected areas have been put in and have been valued by those communities, um, even though there's been resistance initially, we see example after example of benefit. And in fact, they become the most ardent supporters of those conservation areas. And we really think that that is likely to be the case here too, given a little bit of time.